her sharing seemed like it's not right yet. So she said that during the day she was affected by all of things happening around, uh, around her and she cannot do the practice diligently. So by the sharing, could you please give us some word of encouragement? Uh, our practice is not only based on the times that we assign for every day, one hour in the morning, one hour in the afternoon, and one hour at night. However, our practice must be continuously in all situations, in all activities. But just like a chicken taking care of the eggs, the heat, the body heat had to be constantly transferred to the eggs in order to, for it to uh, Hatch into the baby chickens. So if you not doing your practice continuously in all situations, all activities during the day, then it's, you won't be able to reach your goal, which is enlightenment. So, when you're practicing that, um, when your practice is interrupted by it, um, activities or everything during the day, you won't be able to do the practice continuously. That's why you have to train yourself little by little. If not, your mind will jump in and lure you away from your practice, lure you away and treat, trick you into the thinking and you won't be able to reach a goal. And you still having all these habits of emotions, angry or sadness, all those will be the same like before you practice. And of course, these emotions without control is like a chef doing the cooking when he's angry. So the foods he prepared won't be as good as usual. So, when we do in a practice, the practice is not only when we sit down and meditate. It has to be in our situation. Walking, sitting, sleeping, running, 
our situation, we can still do in the practice continuously. It's very simple, asking questions and raising doubt. That's all you need to do. And when you have the doubt going on, you focus your mind on that and don't try to answer just the doubt that you need. So just like a mother loving her kids, when she loves her kids, in all situations during the day, she's always thinking of her kids. So our mind are focusing on the questions and the doubts is like a mother loving her kids. If we get practice continuously and diligently, eventually we will get to a state of mind that we're practicing without knowing that we're practicing in all situations at any places. So sometimes your understanding is not enough because they are the attachments that you had to the knowledge. That's why you have to do the practice in order to understand the real meanings of this knowledge. So when you do the practice and you have to work every day, you're going to save time when you are not working to practice and train yourself in that terms, for example, you have to work eight hours a day and you still have 16 hours for you to practice or sometimes that you have a break for you to practice. So 24 hours a day, Sometimes you can practice only an hour and you have 24, 23 hours interrupted. Eventually, if you keep practicing, then you can gain your time practice, practicing into from one to two hours and more and more. And the more you practice, the more you will gain that time of practicing until you get used your practice, to your practicing and you can apply that while you work or doing any other activities. So just like a Buddha when meeting a tempter, uh, the tempter telling him two verses of the poem, everything is important. They are in a circle of pertinent. And the Buddha wants to learn the second two verses of the poem. He decided to give up his life 
dedicate his life to the last two verse for the tempter to eat him. And like when Jack, when he understand uh, we market sutra, he still came to the sixth patriarch for his validations of what he learned. And also like a story of the Buddha when he's um, in a city and there's some um, a um, person want to ask him to say the Dharma they keep quiet and the other guy just keep asking for it three times and the Dharma still not saying any words but now the Buddha realized that this guy's life is almost close to the end so he decided to say dharma to talk dharma to him and after hearing the buddha dharma and he suddenly becomes a monk and start to practice right away and when the buddha left this new practitioners were hit by a, a crazy cow and he died when he still practicing so as we said earlier, you have to do the practice continuously and diligently without knowing the times or in any situations. You may, your, your main goal is to do the practice in all situations, all time. In order to do that, to do that, you have to start your practice now and train yourself little by little, minutes by minutes, and then you will reach a goal later on that you can practice in all situations. It's just like a cat when it's watching for mouse he gazing gazing on the mouse without knowing anything happening surrounding it so your practice should be the same when like the cat when hunting for the mouse so we always must do the practice little by little and always want to ask questions and raise it down any times that we have any free time that we have during the day and we can train ourselves until we reach our goal of practicing our times all day. Is that understandable? Yes. Thank you for your words. 